Hey, Brandon. Oh, hey, hey, John. Glad you're here. Did you notice how unseasonably cold it is outside today? Yeah. I'm having to knit a sweater so I won't freeze to death when I leave later. <gasps> Trying to decide if I should change the pattern. You know, like knit one, purl two. <laughs> Saw that on a knitting show once. Yes. Don't know what it means. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to decide. You know they have a show for everything nowadays. I saw a show the other night about how to cut your cat's hair. Now, I don't have a cat, and I couldn't stop watching it. It was uh, relaxing, I guess. Anyway, what do you think I should do? Knit one, purl two, or keep the pattern the same? <laughs> knit one, purl two. Why don't you take your jacket off? Stay a while. Here, you dropped your glass. I really hate knitting. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. John, why don't you tell the folks at home what we're doing today? Beats me, it's up to you, Brandon. <laughs> Seriously, though. Yeah. Uh, this was your week to plan the guests, so... No, 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 no. It was definitely your week to come up with a game. No, 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 what are we saying no to? I don't remember. Yeah, me either. Okay, so what do you have planned for us today, Brando? Oh, yeah, that's it. What, you really don't have anything planned today? No. Ah. Oh, man. So, uh, oh, you know what? You know what? Never fear. This always works. Oh, okay, go. Do this. Please welcome to the show someone who knows stuff. Someone who knows stuff. Um... Uh, oh, okay, 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 I've got it. Let's play a game. All right. You know, believe it or not, there is some preparation that goes into the games that we play. There's usually rules, props, sometimes it has a name. Let's play What Do We Do on the Show Today? Uh, what do we do on the show today? Now we're just doing what we were already doing. Yeah, but now it's a game. Okay, listen, we're creative guys. We can... Uh, we can come up with something, I'm sure, if yeah, we put our heads yeah, together. If only we had some sort of contraption with creative ideas on it that we could, you know, use on the show in an emergency situation like this. <sighs> Wait. Hey, you. Yes, you, with the horse head. Is that the wheel of ideas? Does two mean yes? Yeah. Can we borrow it? All right, thanks so much. All right, our problems are solved, John. You're not even a little curious about- Nay, nay, we got the Wheel of Ideas. The Wheel of Ideas. All right, this game is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, where's it gonna land, where's it gonna land? Make? Make up a story about a dog, a watering can, and an elf. And 10 seconds, uh, go! 10 seconds, oh, okay. Uh, there was an elf who lived in a watering can, and one day a friendly dog came to say hello, but he accidentally knocked over the watering can with his big wet nose. Oh, and the elf done, got done. Wow, time's up, a good story. Yeah, I was on the edge of my seat. I wanted to know what, what was gonna happen to that watering can. Okay, my turn, my turn. All right, here we go, ready? Spin it. Bake a pie with the first three ingredients you can think of. Okay, uh, uh, the first three ingredients are pickles, shredded cheese, and curry powder. Oh, you can't bake a pie like that, can you? Of course! Fast forward! Wow. Uh, you want the first bite? Sure. Uh, time to spin! All right, I'll do it. All right. Get that thing out of here. All right. Ready? 
Sing a song about the weather. All right. Uh, uh, the weather is really fun when I can see the sun. When the clouds are out, it makes me want to pout. Oh, that's a nice one. I like the pout part. Oh, yeah. no, no. Thank you. Your turn. Go. Okay, here we go. Yep. <laughs> Invent an exercise that works out every muscle in your body. Oh, that should be easy. Challenge accepted. All right. All right, here we go. I need go some space. It. Ready? What about your feet? Oh. And your facial muscles. Don't forget your facial muscles. And your tongue. <laughs> It looks good, I think. You'll be fully in shape in no time. All right, my turn. Draw a picture with your toes. Can I stop now? No, 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 no. I'm going to draw you. Oh, cool. All right. 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 You're looking good. Ah, oh, I got a toe cramp. Got a toe cramp. Ow, ow. Ooh. How do you like your portrait? Oh, that's great. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hey, guys. What's the story today? Well, it looks like you guys got a great head start on our topic because today we're getting creative. Very cool. Mm. And you know, there's a lot of different ways to be creative. Whoa, like cooking, for example. You see, creativity will come out of everyone differently. Like in music. I love how musicians create so many different types of melodies and play so many different types of instruments. Just music alone has a wide variety of creativity. Sports are creative too. You have to figure out creative ways to work together with your teammates. And then add a little fancy footwork. Woo, and you've got yourself a game. Then there's people who love science and use their creativity to invent things like medicines or cleaning products. Oh, architecture is incredibly creative. You like playing with Legos now, but you could be building skyscrapers someday. Karate! Now those are some creative kicks. Yeah. Artists. Artists use colors to create beautiful pictures that can tell stories and touch people's emotions. It seems like there's no end to people's creativity. You ever wonder why? Oh, wow, back to me again. Let's look at what the Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. He wrote, we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared those works for us to do. So there is a reason there are so many different ways to be creative. It's because you, me, and everyone you will ever know were created by a very creative God. And we can use our creativity to do good things, to love others, and to point people to Jesus. Pretty cool, huh? Really cool, Kellen. Yeah, this whole time I thought if you wanted to be creative, you had to know how to draw, and I am not good at that. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Oh, it's John. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. Thanks. Thanks. But lucky for you, there are a ton more ways to be creative than just being good at drawing. That's great news. Mm -hmm. You just got to remember that God created us in his image, so it makes sense that some of his creativity is inside of us. That's awesome. Thanks, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Kellen. This looks nothing like me. No, oh, sure it does. Sure it does. Hey, everybody. It's me, John, and I'm crazy. <laughs> see? It's hard to tell. All right, that. then. Reveal the question. Reveal the question. 
How are you creative? Oh, okay. Um, I'm creative because I can make people laugh. I can make people laugh. <laughs> and I'm good at making up stories. What about you? Yeah, whether you create something with your hands or your feet or you create solutions to problems in your mind. T talk about it together. How are you creative? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Okay, make me laugh. Hey, look at me. I, see? You're hilarious. I can do all the exercises. Look at me. I'm dancing. See, this is what it's like for me being with you all the time. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs>